Hello and welcome to the Department of Education and Professional Studies here at King's College London. If you're watching this, then you're interested in hearing more about our MPhil PhD programme. My name is Meg Maguire and together with Julie Bacon, I organise and administer the doctoral programme here for our department. I want to start by reflecting on the fact that the PhD is the highest title that can be awarded for academic achievement. It recognises that you've produced a piece of independent research supported by supervision and training which contributes to your field of studies. It's hard work but it's also a very rewarding undertaking. Now if you've done an MA and you've already undertaken research for your dissertation you'll have some idea of what's involved in postgraduate study. The PhD is broader than the MA, we see it as an apprenticeship in planning and in conducting your own research, in working towards a deeper philosophical engagement with a complex topic. Either way, the PhD is a learning experience where you will attend research workshops, take classes in writing, you'll work in groups, you'll explore one another's studies, and you'll have an opportunity to discuss your research across the university in our graduate school and in other classes that we offer. So doing a PhD here is an exciting and challenging proposition. At the heart of any PhD, of any doctoral research, is a core concern with a topic that you want to question. And so it's very important before you apply that you start to think carefully about what is it that you are curious about and that you want to explore in greater depth. It's also important that you thought a little bit too about if I was going to do this, how would I bring this about? What methods would I use? Would I want to go to some schools? Would I want to conduct some interviews? Would I want to look at some texts? Would I want to analyse some policy? Now, do check out our website as it gives you a good overview of what you're going to need to do to prepare a good application and to prepare a good overview for your proposed research. A PhD denotes intellectual growth in your field. It involves a multi-year project and it's based on your own independent research study. The duration of the programme is between three and seven years, depending on whether you decide to register as a part-time student or as a full-time student. Either way, you're going to need to be resilient and you're going to need to be able to sustain work over a long period. Entry is competitive as we're looking for good students with a strong track record of academic success. Doing a PhD is extremely demanding, intellectually, and emotionally and we want to do our very best here to support you in this fascinating process. Hello, my name is Julie Bacon and I'm the MPhil PhD Programme Administrator. I work closely with Professor Meg Maguire, the Programme Director, to ensure that you have the resources, information and support you need to successfully complete your degree. Meg and I also work closely with the student representatives to make sure your time here is enjoyable and rewarding too. So if you do have any questions about the programme, please feel free to email me. Here is my email address and we look forward to receiving your application. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Roberts. I'm a first year PhD student in the Department of Education and Professional Studies, which is known as DEPS. Um, my study is looking at family communication, storytelling and genetics. Uh, and I'm previously from a clinical genetics background. When I started my PhD, I had some research experience from my masters and my clinical work. But the PhD meant that I was expected to do a lot more, both in terms of the quality of the work I was, I was producing and in terms of my role in developing uh, the, the research projects. Um, and there are a number of things that have helped being in this department that have uh, sort of, um, 
allow me to, to meet those challenges. Um, the first of those is um, the staff members who are in the department. Um, it's uh, great to have a huge team of really dedicated and talented staff members, but importantly, it's one of those staff members who is um, chosen to be my supervisor. And if you do a PhD in this department, they'll be one of your supervisors. The relationship that you have with your supervisor is, I think, in many ways, as important as the topic that you choose. So if your supervisor is right for you, that's as important as if your project is right for you. So one of the things that's been great in this department is having fantastic supervisors and I've heard that um, other colleagues of mine, other students who have been in the department have also had really good experiences with their supervisors, so that's been a massive advantage. The second thing that's been incredibly helpful is the ongoing training that the department provides. So while I've been developing my uh, research question and my methodologies, it's been useful to think about how I want to you know, gather my data and analyse my data. So I attend the um, departmental seminars that happen during the evenings and these keep you up to date with quantitative and qualitative methodology um, and that's been really useful. In the department there's also um, as a PhD student access to the King's interdisciplinary modules. Um, these are fantastic in terms of just developing your general skills as an academic so I've attended things like um, you know writing a literary review, um, sort of speed reading courses then there's also some more sort of esoteric courses like there's sort of um, introduction to Foucault or narrative analysis. Um, so having access to those is really valuable and I found really valuable in developing my PhD project. Um, the third aspect that's been great about this department is the students themselves. So it's really great to be able to um, in a, uh, do a PhD in a, a friendly and also hard working environment. There's lots of opportunities to um, sort of make, make friends, but also um, be involved in things that are kind of going to advance your career. So for example, there's a, uh, a small conference that gets put on by the students, and this is run by the students, developed by the students, and this gives you a chance not just to present your work in an academic conference, which is obviously useful, but to start to um, learn what it is to put, put one of those on and start sort of gaining that sort of experience. Doing a PhD I found be quite isolating, just having people to talk through ideas instead of just be you sitting there even with you and your supervisors um, is very useful but it's really useful to actually be able to talk it through with other students and that will push your PhD on a lot if you decide to do one. It's very hard to cover everything about our programme in this short film. However, if you do go onto our website, we provided more information there. We've got frequently asked questions as well as details of how to apply and what this entails and it provides you with some suggestions for the way that you need to fill in your form and produce your research proposal. Thank you very much for watching this film and we all want to send you our very best wishes for your academic career. Thank you.